Hey guys, I'm Critico and this is Stardew Valley. Welcome there, welcome. And that's crazy little Peggy over there. So you can buy your beautiful backpack right any second. And uh, crop order. Now let's see though. Half us 100 eggplants and ship 100 eggplants, Peggy. My lord. Um, now let's see. Yeah, we, uh, we have to ship all of this though, huh? Even the 21 golden ones? Ah. Uh, one second. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Because I I don't want to send too many golden ones away, right? Well, it seems like we have to send it all, Peggy. So let's just do it. And then we will be fine. Yeah. Let's go. Beautiful. Now, we want to... Pick all the pumpkins. Yes, because they are really worth a lot. Even the silver ones. And then some of these. Some mice. Pick up mice, my boys. Oh, disgusting. <laughs> oh, we are... <sighs> oh, okay, one silver one. There you go. Ooh, look at this, though. What a nice little harvest, huh? Whoppa, there we go. Very nice. We get some extra double ones at times. Very lovely. Now we have to check what we do need for these little beauties okay five of those we have five of these so that's very lovely then over here we do need one honey we have one honey any more bundle we do not have any animals no 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 uh winter foraging when well, that's next month fish next thousand years we do have some money though so that's nice and chef's bundle um we got some maple syrup yes poppy do we have poppies I don't think we have Poppy, Peggy. Uh, the die. We do have these. Well, some. And she wants all of them. So, let's wait with that one. We do have all of these. Hmm. I wonder where the Nautilus has gone to. Hmm. That's a mighty good question, though, isn't it? Uh, a frozen geode. Peggy. Peggy. Did you see a frozen geode somewhere? Oh, here's the Nautilus. The frozen geode. No, that's a frozen tear. Wait a minute. We had frozen geodes, my boys. Well, apparently it's gone, my boys. What a hellhole, huh? Well, Peggy, see you later. I'm going to the community center. All right. Artisan bundle complete. Beautiful. We really do need something for the funny animal stuff, right? Oh, free keg. I wish Peggy would uh, come along here too. Now, let's donate five of those. Just one say, right? Oh, no. Hopefully, they don't take six. And what do we get? The preservers are very nice. The greenhouse is almost complete, Peggy, if we are going to focus on Animal Crossing. Uh, winter foraging is next year. All right, and the chip. Yeah, the frozen tear is gone. The frozen jeweled, I mean. So I think I'm going to the mines. Hmm, probably, right? And this one is two and a half thousand. Ooh, 25,000, 5k, and 10k. So, wait a minute. Okay, that is five. That's 30. That's 40. Oh, 42,500. That's a lot of money do you want from us. Peggy, we are not going to buy anything, right? Nah, we have enough plants and stuff. That's how it is. So I'm going to do this one, sure. And we did get chocolate pie. Yum, yum, yum. Hey there, curry girl. I was just daydreaming about some new carpentry projects, really. Are you doing okay at your place? How is the woodworking your cottage holding up? Pretty nice, though. All right, and let's talk to him. You're probably growing a lot of interesting stuff. Yes, I do know. Yes, I know you want to check up. Aw, Peggy, don't you worry. You will get the chocolate cake, though. Don't you worry about that. I'm working in the mines for a little bit, and I believe it was level 50. Yes, all right. Mm, frozen geodes. That's what we want. Okay, I got a frozen geode, my boy. Then let's go! Hello there, Chris Peggy. I'm at the community center, all right? Maybe I should wait up a second. Uh, 
Yeah, there she comes. Hello there, Peggy. Want to join me? Yeah. Oh, you got a spoon, huh? Did you just eat some pudding in the woods? <laughs> oh, you can always impress Peggy, right? You know, with food. Uh, right over here. There we go. Another bundle complete, Peggy. Reward friendship. And with the power of friendship, we can destroy anything. Recycling. See what I mean? Oh, Peggy, stop bullying the little uh, Yumino. Peggy, leave, the, leave, leave it alone. Maybe it has diseases. Let's go. Let's go, Peggy. It's getting late. By the way, let's see. Oh, yeah. Uh, shipping eggplants. Well, we will see that in a bit, right? Uh, 30 copper ores. Ah, oh, hell no. He's a little bit greedy, right? With his copper. Well, I just want to inspect them and look very sad and lonely. So hopefully you're going to donate it. But we always pretend that we are too blind to do so. Oh, Peggy, Peggy, Peggy. Wait, 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 wait. I got a present for you. I got a present for you. Chocolate rain. Na, 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 na. Not here in my hands, in your pants, in your chest. Sure. I'm around, huh? Oh, damn, Peggy, I apologize, though. Tomorrow is Marnie's birthday, right? Yeah. Well, good that you tell me because I wanted to uh, throw it away. La, la, la. La, 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 la. All right, Peggy. Uh, yeah, chocolate cake, right? Very nice. Uh, ta -ta. Right over there is another one. And... Oh, yeah, it's getting very late, though. Meow. And there we go. There we go. 20 minutes left. And then we did pass out, just like in real life, by the way, right? We all know it. Ooh, level 9 farming, Peggy. Very nice. New crafting rep uh, recipe, seed maker. Nice, and an iridium sprinkler. We can finally make my dreams come true. To be the strawberry king of Stardew Valley. Is that enough? Uh, yeah, that's enough. Very nice. And then we did ship it to the wrong way, right? <laughs> it will be so funny. 3,300 gold extra. Nice. Oh, Peg Leg Peggy, we are almost, and I repeat, almost ready for the Atomic Peggy. And I mean for another, uh, I don't know, for what are we ready? I had something in my mind, though. I wanted to say thanks for taking an interest in my work. Here's a cookie, cooking re recipe that I like, Demetrius, fried mushroom. Very lovely. Kuriko, I wanted to thank you for taking care of my special order. All of the hard work you have done has been a great boost to Pelican Town's image. Here's a mini shipping bin. As a token of my appreciation, place it anywhere and I'll be sure to take a stop when I make my rounds. Lewis, another one? Is he... <sighs> I mean, what, what do you think that I am? A shipping monster! Alright, let's put it over there too. Oh. Well, Peggy, I'm going to harvest again. I'm almost level 10. I apologize, Peggy, though, but then we have everything that we desire, right? Peggy, your little cottage looks really, really nice, though. Uh, uh, hands off there. Hands off, Peggy. Uh, hey, why did you make me wet? Why did you steal that one, Peggy? Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel so bad though that I have to collect it all, but it's good that at least one of us reaches 10 uh, rather fast. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Happy birthday morning. Happy birthday morning. Happy birthday going to read that letter in time back the 
The Luke's pack. Ooh, congratulations, Peggy. Here, let me help you, Mr. Milner. Whoa, Penny, that's not the way to do it. There you go. Hmm, I could have done it myself. One second, let, let's give him a better force for now. Excuse me, I've been watching too many Exorcist movies. Peggy, stop stalking. Could we go? You were watching us. I was. You did. You did a kind thing there, Penny. I was. You should have asked instead of assuming George wanted to help. True. I'm just asking a walk. I'm just taking a walk, minding my own business. It's always good to how to ask, though, right? But. Ah, yes. I always ask, you know. Oh, I guess you're right. I'm sorry, Mr. Milner. Oh, no, what? My, my freaking fingers. Ah, uh, no, no. I'm sorry, miss. I shouldn't have gotten so angry. It was actually very kind of you to help me out. It was. It's okay, Mr. Milner. I understand. Give her a milkshake or something, man. You know, the saloon is right over there. Make it up with her. Why milkshake? Because he remind me, you know, of, of the 60s, especially how Penny is dressed here. It must be difficult to grow old. I'd rather not think about it. I just, uh, it's just a different part of life. That's why we should respect our elders. I'd rather die young and trying. No, let's go with respect. But hey, be careful with respecting elders, right? You never know that you will accidentally respect a pedophile. You know what I'm saying? That's nice of you to say. I totally agree with you. We should treat our elders with the same respect. We hope to receive ourselves someday. Hey, Peggy, you're crazy. Peggy! Well, it was interesting talking to you, Kurigo. I should go. <laughs> Ma what the, Peggy? Oh, Peggy. Um, we should throw it in a lower soup, you know? <laughs> Where is he? Where is Barney? Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh! Mm, what am I going to make for dinner tonight? Maybe I'll just get takeout from the saloon. <laughs> you know, it's good. It, it's a good takeout, man. He has passion for his food. Oh, how's Granny? I, I barely see Granny. Oh, I apologize, Granny. Today I'm baking cookies. They're shaped like little pumpkins. Oh, can I get some? Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. Well, I could teach Peggy how to make some beautiful Halloween cookies too. With a little flavoring of pumpkin. Uh, are you friends with Clint? He's a nice guy if you get to know him. If you get to know him, huh? He gets lonely working in his shop all day, but he's so shy, he has trouble making new friends. Oh my god. Marnie! Marnie. You remember my birthday? Thank you, this is great. I need something. <laughs> I, I might be getting some different kinds of animals in the future, really, now. Although, I'll need to make sure there, there's a market for them. So, you'll have to prove your skill with animal first. Just keep treating your animals with respect and good things will happen. Of course, we are treating Peggy with all the respect that we can. Huh? D didn't you buy the backpack? Look at all money, though. It didn't go away, or did we have so many? Did we head over... What the? Hello there. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers. <laughs> you might well call the cops, then, if a stranger's in your home. Wapa, look at that, though. You fought the look at purple shorts. Better return to Lewis. Actually, we could prank him two times, right, Peggy? You know, it's a Lua and something else, I believe, or two times the Lua. Um, I'm going to... Oh, no, the store is closed. Pegger. Can we rob him? Ah, <laughs> oh, well, better not, right? Better not. Now, let's see. What do we have around here? 
trying to keep the art of fishing alive. Well, good luck to you, big boy. The problem is, though, there's some disgusting things going on in his underpants, right? Because it's where it is. Lucky underpants, you know? And that's why we are going to store it. And also, Black Barrel to a bear? Who, who doesn't like it? I've played enough Yakuza, all right. And there we go. Peggy, you got a plum bum. Here you go. Oh, no, I apologize. Damn it. Well, by that, my boys and girls, I want to thank you all for tuning in. I really appreciate it. Have a wonderful time. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay happy, stay healthy. And don't forget to subscribe, though. Bye-bye.